my role on Starship Farragut is not only am I the executive producer, but I'm also the ship's captain, Captain Jack Carter. And I also do wardrobe for the series. I make all the Star Trek costumes. You'll notice that my setup is that to just be very efficient, since what we do is all production based. We're making a lot of, uh, of costumes. That when I first started doing this, um, I couldn't find anyone to sew costumes. I tried to see my tailor in the Navy. He kind of looked at me funny like Spock with his, his raised eyebrow and said, well, I don't, I don't do that. So I had to teach myself how to make the uniforms. I have a lot of machines and set up in a production environment for ease of efficiency. When initially when we started, I had my dad make a lot of the props. Um, this is the Spock medical scanner, and there's a blue light that kind of protrudes out. But this is, uh, Mr. Spock would use this to get scientific readings. Certainly a vessel that could cloak based on the beta radiation signatures. This is the desktop computer. I'll run this through the library computer. This is the equivalent of the floppy disk um, from back then. Um, you probably recognize the communicator. Um, this is the device that was used to beam people to and from the ship. Um, we also have the medical scanner device that Dr. McCoy would use to get a readout on a patient. You have the phaser two. Captain Kirk, Mr. Spock, um, Dr. McCoy, the security guards would always carry the, the phaser two weapon. And we make all these props. We came together out of Trek and filmmaking, but what we have formed is not so much a partnership as it is a family. Um, we're always around one another and we have really become a, an extended family. So the friendships run really deep and we wanted to really make our characters um, memorable and lovable. I think we all, we all bring certain aspects of our personality to it and then uh, find that we grow from learning about one another and appreciating what each of us has to bring, what each of us has to offer in our different ways. I just can't help but love these amazingly talented, incredibly smart, wonderful geeks. And so <laughs> um, they're an important part of my life and um, I wouldn't have it any other way.